uh, we would be those uh, who would uh, tell the angels, you know, what what uh, we will condemn them and uh, the charge would be upon us. I think what is uh, uh, trying, uh, what Paul is trying to emphasize there is our because of our union with Christ, we will be with Christ uh, when Christ judges uh, the world, and you know all authority was given unto Him. So therefore, we will be with Him. We will judge the angels. We will be uh, uh, the witnesses. Probably we will say that yes, these people and these angels are uh, they are they are just justly condemned for their sins. Dennis of CBCD, Pastor, if the law of the land is part of God's providence, are there any indications in Paul's letters when or until when we can use the law to apprehend or even punish incest, adultery, because there were these were defined criminal in nature? Further, are we in position that civil cases should not be brought uh, to court? Uh, if uh, my position is my my belief of course is uh, if any kind of issue or sin that is uh, against uh, the state uh, especially those of criminal issues and there should be uh, the meeting out of justice it is a privilege of the christian to pursue it so as a pastor what you should do to a fellow believer is to ask that person he has the privilege or the right to sue the person and it will not be taken against him by the church uh, but the message of course is still to take the higher road the extra mile if uh, you can forgive for example someone uh, has really uh, uh, done you wrong uh, financially a uh, large amount of money you have the option to pursue charges or uh, to file cases to uh, uh, go after the money or you can forgive uh, your brother if it, it would be your decision so that's how i uh, see it uh, there are times that uh, if there's there should be fluidity in these cases that's why there should be uh, uh, an oversight of uh, Christian leaders on this matter uh, because these are very sensitive issues. You have to think about the testimony of the church, of believers in your community. What if it's an issue that has been covered by the media? So uh, there are a lot of things that are in place. So therefore, uh, there should be the, that uh, uh, good uh, advice from these people who know this situation. Uh, Rolando Antonio, how about sa mga kapwa babae, pastor, nagka-relations about isa, the same sin committed po ba, pastor? Yes, uh, you know, we cannot expect the Apostle Paul to write all those sins in 1 Corinthians uh, 6, 9. Uh, he was pertaining to those sins that are very prominent <clears throat> in Corinth. So these are the sins that are actually uh, being exercised. Uh, it is my belief that the, the issue of uh, lawsuits, incest, and uh, this sexual pederasty or homosexuality are the uh, primary uh, prevalent sins even inside the Corinthian church before they were believers. So uh, that is the reason why he addressed uh, homosexuality and not uh, uh, sodomy because that uh, issue probably is not uh, more identified with them. But in Romans chapter 1, uh, women uh, who are having sexual relations with other women, it's just the same thing with homosexuality. Pau, uh, regarding criminal case of one of the members in the church, what should be the stance approach of the local church for the particular member being suspected for a criminal case while it is ongoing? Should the local church take a neutral stance approach until proven guilty or innocent? Uh, well, again, this is a matter that is very sensitive and I hope that uh, we would not experience this. But if in case if we would experience this, the better answer should come from those pastors who know 
uh, this situation, but just to give a general statement, uh, if the person uh, is only a suspect and <clears throat> the person denies it, and there are very convincing uh, uh, reasons to really believe him, then therefore we should really all the more apply that uh, uh, belief or uh, principle in law that uh, we should consider this person uh, innocent until proven guilty. Uh, I hope that this uh, statement should not be used on those issues like, for example, rape cases, uh, sexual harassment, <clears throat> and even murder, wherein uh, there is already a uh, uh, clear um, uh, it just cannot be proven yet uh, because of that, uh, because of the issues of the court, the hearings, but it is already clear among the people inside the church that, that this person has committed this uh, because we do not just rely on police uh, investigation. The church has also uh, its own uh, proceedings, Matthew 18. Raymond Manaig, good PM pastor from Kala Raymond. Raymond from Kalamba. Some say that being homosexual is just a sin, like murder, stealing, etc., and that he can repent and become man again. And it is as if he repented from being a murderer and be forgiven and will not want to kill again. But others say that once a homosexual, almost a, always a homosexual. Do you know any case of a repenting homosexual and became a straight man until the end of his life, based on what? <clears throat> You've observed or no kindly give your thoughts. Well, <clears throat> this is a good example of the demonstration of the miracle of Paul. That's why I told you uh, when he said you were washed, sanctified, and justified, he was not actually doing a uh, uh, Ordo Salutis class. What he is trying to emphasize is the miracle. Such were some of you. So these Corinthian members before were homosexuals. Probably they are being tempted now, but they were already washed. They they are good example of this uh, transformation. Uh, yes, I know of a, uh, a transgender uh, who was uh, saved not under reform ministry, but from other circles in Baptist church. And he became a pastor uh, later on. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, during this pandemic, the Lord took him and he remained faithful until the end. Uh, Rosaria Butterfield, the one who wrote the foreword of uh, Mark Jones' uh, book on knowing sin, uh, uh, she was a former lesbian, and she is now a respected writer and uh, a conservative uh, theologian in uh, a theologian in the conservative circles of Christianity. So yes, uh, uh, homosexuality and uh, sexual sins are very are really serious sins, but yet they are not uh, beyond the reach of the transforming grace of God. Ian of uh, Isabella, uh, Pastor, how are we going to deal with the tenders who are effeminate since we cannot discipline them being not members of the church? Uh, first, Ian, I want to greet you a happy birthday. Uh, secondly, uh, if they are not members, sure, we cannot uh, discipline them. We continue to invite them in the church and make sure you do not uh, ask them to lead in prayer, lead the church. That's why there should be clear membership in the church. And we should consider them, according to Paul, as uh, people who should be evangelized from Jesus. I mean, uh, they are Gentiles, publicans, but they should be considered as visitors uh, that should be persuaded and preach. We should preach the gospel. I'm sorry, yung baby pala yung nag-birthday, akala ko sa kanya. <laughs> okay, last, uh... Jeffrey from Kusamis. Pastor, uh, magandang habat po. Yes. Um, tanong ko lang po, uh, ang isang po ba na lalaking asawa na nakagawa ng sexual sin ay masasabi natin na repentant siya kapag ginamit niya sa kanyang asawa yung kanyang ginawa? Uh, yes, it's a, it's a good indication of repentance but it's not always the case. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Confess. 
uh, yung sin but it's not uh, it doesn't uh, totally mean na yan ay nag-repent uh, the uh, uh, the finest indications of repentance is changing one's ways it's not merely confession confession is actually good because it is on the right direction okay uh sige last before we uh, we move on can a person who is a same sex attracted still be a believer well if you follow uh, Sam Alberi of uh, the Gospel Coalition and other people, they are they confess that they are attracted uh, with uh, they have this SSA same sex attraction. Yet they are not only uh, believers; they are pastors. Uh, the uh, for them, uh, it is uh, a, uh, a a temptation uh, that is in this sinful world. The issue is for them always is uh, indulgement. So uh, they are uh, they have this kind of uh, uh, temptation for them. That is actually their their position. Uh, I'm still, to be honest, I'm still in the uh, uh, journey of studying more about this matter because there is uh, another position that the mere fact of uh, having this kind of attraction is already a perversion. So to be honest, I cannot claim uh, confidence on this matter. I'm still trying to uh, add, uh, uh, study these matters. If you have some uh, well-founded conclusions on this matter, you can share them later. But for now, let's uh, take a five-minute break. <laughs> 